fading fast. This is Ha Long Bay in Vietnam, an UNESCO World Heritage Site with over 2,000 islands. Mr. Tuan has made one into a leading tourism destination and himself a billionaire. This is why Vietnam has been called the next China. It has slowly introduced capitalism into a communist system. So, state-owned firms remain. Although Mr. Tuan and some others have gotten rich, he warns that the country is in danger of crisis because of the lagging reforms of the state-owned firms. I think that Vietnamese politicians should face the truth squarely, though it might be painful. Vietnam's leader must kill off state-owned enterprises, which are inefficient and ineffective, sell the properties, accept necessary losses, and create new momentum for the country. Ho Chi Minh City, the commercial capital of Vietnam, has seen rapid change since reforms started in 1986. Vietnam's growth had rivaled China's, but has recently slowed to less than 5%, a worrying pace for a poor country. Why? those dominant state-owned firms. Scandals, bad management, and rising debt, that's the vicious circle of inefficient state-owned enterprises. Vietnamese government debt is already 50% of GDP. Add in state-owned enterprise debt, and it goes to 100%. The government says they're going to do something about it, but of 93 big firms that are to be partially privatized, the World Bank says so far only 12 have been. China still has problems, but shares in even the biggest state-owned firms have been sold to private investors. Despite both being transition economies, a prominent advisor to four prime ministers doesn't think that Vietnam will follow the Chinese model. I think that it will be difficult for us to pursue China's model because it's a big country, but perhaps follow the models of Thailand and Indonesia. I hope that economic growth will be 7.5 to 8 percent from 2016, so Vietnam could be a strong industrial nation in the next 20 years. It's hard to see what's going on beneath the surface. Does the government have the political will to steer through the hard reforms? That's the key as to whether Vietnam can avoid a debt crisis and maybe not become the next China, but continue to grow. Linda Yu, BBC News, Ho Chi Minh City. Thank you.